Jacob Guerra and Ryzen, uh, Ryan Rosenbaum as they advance to the rank of Eagle Scout. This is a great moment in the life of these young men and worthy of celebration. The Eagle rank is the highest honor that can be earned by a scout. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I welcome each of one of you to this Eagle Court of Honor. I also want to thank you on behalf of the Rosenbaum and Guerra families for your presence and your participation in this ceremony. Will the Honor Guard please escort Jacob and Ryan's parents at this time. jumped ahead there. <laughs> Let's uh, move a little faster yeah. than <laughs> Okay, Paul and Mike will replace the troop neckerchief with the Eagle Scout neckerchief. Jacob and Ryan will now pin their fathers with the scouter's pin on their left lapel. <laughs> 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 
Jacob and Ryan will now present an eagle, I'm sorry, Jacob and Ryan will now pin their mothers with an eagle mother pin. about your dad? <laughs> Jacob and Ryan will now present an Eagle's mentor pin to their Eagle advisors, Mr. Paul Pesek and Mr. Mike Rosenbaum. Marty Rockworth will now present the Eagle Certificate to Jacob and Ryan. Mike and Paul will now present American flags to Ryan and Jacob. Those flags were flown over the United States Capitol. Jacob and Ryan will now present flowers to their mothers. You could give her a hug. <laughs> First off, I would like to thank everyone who has helped me over the years, and a special thank you to Sally, Paul, Steve Dunn, all the adult leaders of the troop, and last but not least, my parents. <laughs> Obtaining Eagle Scout was definitely not easy. All the long hour, all the long hours of hard yet tedious work my parents went through to try and motivate me to work on my last few merit badges, Eagle Project planning, writing the script for this event, even writing this very speech. <laughs> That's finally paid off. It was anything but a breeze. Mom and Dad, but look where this struggle got us. Your boy is an Eagle Scout now. <laughs> I bet you're happy to say finally came, because I am. And to the Scouts, thanks for all the memories and great stories I can now tell people about my experiences over the years. The journey from Scout to Eagle is full of highs and lows stuff. I know, because I went through it. You just have to keep going. Make a checklist and keep working at it. Eventually, you'll be standing up here where I am, giving a little speech about how the other scouts should keep working at it as well. And don't focus only on getting all the work done quickly. Take your time, make some memories, hike 50 miles, camp in the snow, shoot some guns, make some friends, attempt to forge a sword in a campfire. That's a true story. <laughs> and most importantly, have fun. Thank you to everyone who came out today, scouts and families, for showing your support for all the work Jacob and I have done. And thank you to the scouts in particular for making Troop 294 the best troop yet. So, like Ryan said, this definitely wasn't a breeze. But um, for me, scouting has been an amazing experience. From Cub Scouts, when um, I remember going to a little commuter camp every year, shooting BB guns in the back of a truck. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Boy Scouts, where I loved camping almost every summer, uh, whenever I could, around my schedule. 
now that I'm an Eagle Scout, I look back and it's been an amazing ride. Like Ryan said, there are ups and downs, but the downs are what make the ups what they are. And I know I wouldn't trade any of these experiences for anything in the world. Um, I will always be highly of the Boy Scout program, and I think it provides people with the means to try things that they have never done before. Um, what, and it lets people get out of their comfort zones and try things they would never do, like rappelling down into a cave at age 13. Um, and I still remember all the summer camps I spent at Oljeda, um, trying to forge a sword, which was true. Um, and all the different merit badge meetings with counselors at the last minute, at night, when everyone just wanted to eat dinner and go to sleep. But I wouldn't be able to do any of this, be here talking, if I didn't thank people that helped me. First of all, I'd like to thank my parents. It was a very long journey, and I drugged my feet quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, everything. And even though I drugged my feet, it's been very memorable. Um, I'd also like to thank Mr. Rushworth. You've been an amazing scoutmaster to me and Ryan, and always a great leader, always there for us whenever we need it. I'd also like to thank Mr. Pesek and uh, Ms. Sally Moisif. You guys um, were den leaders back in Cub Scouts, and you are what provided me with the strong base for what became my scouting career. And any kid would be lucky to have either of you influence their scouting careers. Sorry, you guys. You missed that. <laughs> um, and finally, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Rosenbaum for being an amazing scout mentor. I couldn't have asked for anyone better to stand by my side and walk me through this whole process. Um, when we were trying to figure out different projects or we changed from one to another, it's been a very uh, fun process, and I thank you for that. So. Um, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Scouts. Don't procrastinate. I know every other Eagle Scout has said that. You'll probably be saying that, too. Don't do it. Um, thank you. I'll look around in advance. Troop salute. Audience, please place the right hand over your heart. Color guard, unpost the colors. Two. Color guard dismissed. <laughs>